going to get to ask Mr. Barr some questions tomorrow. Maybe. He joins us right now from D.C. Um, Congressman, you got, Morning, Steve. You, you got a problem with this letter that the Department of Justice received from the Mueller team, don't you? I do, Steve. Uh, one thing that's not in dispute is that Bill Barr invited Bob Mueller to review the four-page notice that he sent to Congress. Bob Mueller said no thanks. And then after the letter became public, Bob Mueller apparently had a problem with it. The other thing is, the reason that he said he has a problem with it is that it, he's afraid that it will undermine the full confidence of the public in his conclusions. Memo to Bob, uh, when he put Peter Strzok and Lisa Page and Andrew Weissman on the special counsel team, when he staffed the special counsel team with folks that had supported only Democrats, and when he himself agreed to investigate Donald Trump as the special counsel two days after he interviewed to work for Donald Trump as right. FBI director and didn't get the job, when he did all of those things, he killed any chance that there was going to be full public confidence uh, in his right. conclusions. Well, it does sound as if Mueller was frustrated or whoever wrote the letter, because when they had a phone call a, a day or two later, it was very cordial. It wasn't quite as scathing as the letter was. Uh, but the letter said, uh, look, people are watching it on TV. They're not really getting the idea. Uh, when they had the phone call, Congressman, uh, apparently Mr. Uh, Barr said, Said, was my memo inaccurate? And Mueller said, no, but the media coverage is. So, you know, do you, first of all, it is curious that this was leaked the day before Mr. Barr shows up. But then again, you wonder who wrote the letter because the letter was much more scathing than that conversation Mueller had with Barr. You do, but I think the most important takeaway is the minute Bill Barr heard that Bob Mueller had a problem with uh, the contents of it, he wrote another letter to Congress to clarify, yeah. and he immediately made himself available and said, I'll be there on May 1st and May 2nd to talk about those things. Okay. So, uh, so Bill Barr's doing everything he possibly can uh, to be fair about this, but I think to be fair, if you want to ask questions about a 448-page report, the guy we ought to be talking to is Bob Mueller, not yeah, Bill Barr. Exactly. All right. Um, when you get, you know, if he, he does, Mr. Barr, appear before the House tomorrow, and I know that's kind of in dispute right now because they want to, the Democrats want to bring in uh, lawyers uh, to query him, uh, there's a good possibility that the Republicans are going to talk about what something Mr. Barr said, and that was spying did occur. You want to know more about that from the DOJ's point of view uh, on the Trump campaign, right? Uh, I do. Uh, as, as Bill Barr said, spying did occur. Uh, Bob Mueller found that there was no collusion, there was no conspiracy. Doesn't mean that there couldn't be a proper predicate to look for it or right. probable cause. But Steve, if the probable cause was the Steele dossier, a, folk, a fake phony dossier, if that was the basis uh, of the probable cause, then there are a lot of folks at the FBI and the sure. Department of Justice that will have some explaining to do. So Bill Barr's going to get a lot of questions about what other evidence there was at the basis of this surveillance of the Trump campaign. All right. Well, Mr. Barr,